This video will show you the basics of how you can make workflows and applications that can be accessed by your clients and members of the public. We're going to illustrate how this looks from a builder user first, what you can see right now, which is the person who's setting up the workflow. And then we're going to show you what it looks like from an end user's perspective. That's the person taking the workflow. So I've created a workflow on my builder account. This one happens to be just a basic one for an employee offer letter. Then what I can do is I can share this with my clients in a few different ways. I can either send them the link directly. I can put it on a document portal page that I can have multiple people be accessing, or I can put it on my website and have people access it that way. Remember that these tools can be white labeled, custom branded, and completely remove the document logo from, from the page. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like when the client accesses the link. So when I give someone the link to a workflow, which I can get from my master dashboard for any particular workflow, they'll be taken to the actual workflow itself. I have the option as the builder to allow them to use it anonymously or to require them to log in. In this particular case, I have a workflow that can be accessed by anyone and doesn't need, doesn't require you to log in. It can be accessed by members of the public. Those people still can sign in if they, if I want them to, um, or I could have set this up so that you have to have a login and you have to be authorized in order to get a, an access, access to one of these workflows. So let's say I want my users to sign in so that they can store their data. What they can do is they can create an account by clicking sign in. And on this page, they can either create a new account or they can enter their email and password so they can pick up where they left off last. In this case, I'll enter my own login information and now I'm logged in and taken directly to the workflow that I was picking up. So here I can enter my information, enter all of my information and go through this workflow. And as the end user, I can now close out the browser and come back later to finish off this information if there's a lot of data that I need to input. Now as the builder, I can go to the master dashboard and see any end user and what they've entered into the workflow um, and pick up their information there. So this has been a brief overview of end users, how they log in and how they can store their data. This can all be customized further, which we'll show you in future videos.